Hello everyone, to all of you a very happy Easter. Uh, whatever your beliefs are, whether for you Easter concerns religious iconography, death and resurrection, whether it involves the rites of spring, be they with the hatching of eggs, real or chocolate, or perhaps rabbits doing what comes so naturally with rabbits, particularly at this time of year. Uh, whatever it means for you, I send you all, especially at uh, a very unusual Easter event, send you very good greetings. And today I've decided to combine the works of one of my favourite poems, poets rather, Sir John Betjeman, with the spirit of Easter and the idea that's affecting a lot of us at the moment, which is loneliness. <clears throat> I am lucky to be confined, as it were, with someone that I love very much and who's very special to me. But I do know the feeling of loneliness, particularly this year with things that have happened in life. And I know a lot of my friends, they're fortunate to live in an era of social media and so on, but I know a lot of my friends are completely alone. So to all of you, I want to remind you that you are not alone, that you are always in somebody's thoughts, even if that someone is me. John Betjeman composed a poem for Easter called, appropriately enough, Loneliness. I hope we would have part of that for today's reading. Last year's leaves are on the beach. The twigs are black. The cold is dry. To deeps beyond the deepest reach, the Easter bells enlarge the sky. Oh, ordered metal clatter, clang, is yours the song the angels sang? You fill my heart with joy and grief, belief, belief and unbelief. And though you tell me I shall die, you say not a how or when or why. <laughs> 